G'day, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv. Go to LearnDelphi.tv uh, to find lots of free content, or you can go and buy one of my uh, videos. I've got uh, currently three available on building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library. Now, in this video, um, this is my first video taking a look at Delphi XE3, and we're going to take a look at um, the SQLite support that's now available. Uh, SQLite is a database, and it is probably the most commonly used database on the planet. Um, it's used in all Android devices and all iOS devices, um, and heaps of other applications take advantage of it. So we're going to have a look at it working in XE3. Um, so let's get on with that now. So let's create a new project and have a VCL Forms application. And um, let's go across to the Data Explorer and down to the SQLite. Now I have already modified this connection and I've created a uh, ctemp Delphi users. Actually it doesn't exist as yet. Um, if we go to advance, what I've also done uh, is added um, fail if missing and set that to false. So that means if the database doesn't exist, it'll get created automatically, which is quite handy. And if I go test connection, it's succeeded. And we look, um, there is DelphiUsers.db created for us, an empty file. Um, let's go OK to that. So let's now um, create a table so we can, um, there's nothing there, so we'll go new table, ID and integer, and we'll have a name, which is a text, and we want to save that, and when the last time I did this it failed. Yes, so although, so create out indices. So what I might do is just delete that, drop that, refresh. Okay, definitely dropped. And I click on the little DDL users and then execute. And then I have the uh, users name and ID. Okay, so that's our uh, database created. Um, let's start using it. So I'll just go and oops, drag that across and that'll uh, hook up our um, connection and a data set. Um, and we need to connect to that and for that we need a provider and we hook that up to our users data set and then we need a client data set which gets hooked up to our oops, provider um, and then a data source which hook up to our client data set and we can set our client data set active to true now, if we want to be able to save things back to the database, we'll need to um, call apply updates, and I will do that in after edit, or after post rather. Um, and also set that in after delete. Okay, so uh, what we can do now is what I'd normally do. I throw a DB grid on there and hook up the data source and we see that um, both fields are wide memos which um, DB grid does not support which is in fact we can fairly readily demonstrate that. And yeah, not very helpful. Um, so what I'll do is throw on a DB Navigator, hook that up to the data source, and if I just go add all fields to that temporarily, you will notice these are uh, both um, wide memo fields. Let's just make them look like 
like edits. Because I can't throw a regular db edit on there because that doesn't work for the same reason. Um, and word wrap false, what returns true. And I think we can now run that. So id1 Marco and Bob and those are all been saved. Close out and if I run this again it's actually going to fall over because uh, it's the ID is expecting a wide memo, memo and it's actually a large int but uh, if I set it to a large int uh, it also fails quite, quite nastily. Um, so I could go large int. So I, I don't think there's a like complete SQLite support as yet. Um, uh, and so the easiest thing to do is remove remove those fields completely, and then we can fire it up again. So pretty cool. So um, that's SQLite support demonstrated. Um, that's sort of uh, the, the the first thing I've done um, so far in uh, Delphi XE3, um, and hopefully I'll bring you a whole heap more stuff.